Hi Haley, uh, this is Brandon. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick instruction of how to use your .dbwt and title blocks. Uh, to start, you're going to download the file that I sent you. Um, I saved mine to a folder just called My Templates. Um, here's yours right here. You can also save it to the template folder that AutoCAD uses. Um, to find yours, it'll change depending on uh, what version of AutoCAD you've got. But to find it, you click uh, New up at the top here. And it'll open default to where your templates are saved. So if you click the uh, pull down here, you can simply follow these folders. So it's C, Users, Home, Data, there you go, to the Templates folder, which is this last one, and save your template in that folder. You can see I've got one of mine right here, so that it's always there. Um, so I'll show you how to use yours. Uh, I'm going to copy the path so I can open it really easily. So in, in a blank AutoCAD drawing, all you're going to do is click New, go to wherever your template file is saved, select it, and hit Open. That's going to open up your uh, new title blocks. So you're going to do your drawing in model space. There you go. So say that's your design right there. Um, you can choose whichever size or layout you'd like. They're all labeled below. The drawing area, if you double click in it and zoom to extents, you'll see your uh, drawing. You click out of the drawing area to move around in here. Um, to edit your project info or drawing title, simply double click and you can type in whatever you'd like. If you have multiple lines, simply type and it'll auto center in the middle of the box. Um, the same goes for if you'd like to change your uh, company stuff. I've left it as text that you can edit. So you can change the text yourself or you can insert an image if you have a logo. Um, to change your date, scale, drawn, revision, simply double click and it'll bring up the attribute editor. So here you can change your design date, your drawing scale, who it was drawn by, and the revision. So if you want to use today, it would be 12 May, or however you do your date. Um, like that, hit enter. The scale is 1 to 1, let's say. I'll use my initials, and the revision is 1. So you hit OK and all those have changed. Um, the copyright is part of the block. If you'd really like to edit that, you can click, right click, and go into the editor. Um, I wouldn't do that unless you definitely have to. It's easier just to leave it alone. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know. The viewport is already set up. Um, like I showed when I draw, double clicked in the drawing area. So you can select that right there. If you'd like to do two viewports, you can do that. Add another one down here, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's about it. That's how you'd start a new drawing with the uh, template. There it is in that one. Same goes for all of them. To print, they're all set up um, so that you can just right click on the tab, hit plot, and it's set to go to PDF, which is what uh, we use. Um, you can change that to your plotter. Just make sure that you set up the paper sizes the same and the rest of the stuff the same. Otherwise, you're going to have to fiddle with it to make sure it fits, but it should work all okay. Um, the scale doesn't matter, that's just for the layout. Um, what else do you need to know? So say you want to add your new title block to a drawing you've already got. Um, so let's, okay, so here's a drawing that I've got. Say this is your, uh, your design. That's not a very good design. 
let's say you want to add your title block thingies to down here. Um, the easiest way to do it is to right click on a tab and go from layout. And this is where you're going to search or if you moved it into your template folder for your template. So wherever you've saved it, which I've saved mine right here, click on it, hit open, and it's going to ask you which layouts you'd like to bring in. If you hold shift, you can select them all, or you can just pick one. So I'm going to click the top one, hold shift, and click the bottom one, and then hit OK. So there, you've now got all of those title blocks in any drawing that you want. So again, to do that, simply click on the existing layout and click from layout, or from template, sorry, and search for your template and then pick yours. Um, that should be it for the basics. Uh, if you need anything specific, just send me an email and let me know. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for uh, doing business with me. Hope you have a good day. Bye.